Trump handed plan to halt U.S. military aid to Kiev unless it talks peace with Moscow. Two key advisors to Donald Trump have presented him with a plan to end Russia's war in Ukraine if he wins the presidential election that involves telling Ukraine it will only get more U.S. weapons if it enters into peace talks. The United States will at the same time warn Moscow that any refusal to negotiate would result in increased U.S. support for Ukraine, retired Lieutenant General Keith Kellogg, one of Trump's national security advisors, said in an interview. Under the plan drawn up by Kellogg and Fred Flights, who both served as chiefs of staff in Trump's National Security Council during his 2017 to 2021 presidency, there would be a ceasefire based on prevailing battle lines during peace talk. They have presented their strategy to Trump, and the former president responded favorably, Flights said. I'm not claiming he agreed with it or agreed with every word of it, but we were pleased to get the feedback we did, he said. However, Trump spokesperson Stephen Chiang said only statements made by Trump or authorized members of his campaign should be deemed official. The strategy outlined by Kellogg and Flights is the most detailed plan yet by associates of Trump, who has said he could quickly settle the war in Ukraine if he beats President Joe Biden in the November 5th election, though he has not discussed specifics. The proposal would mark a big shift in the U.S. position on the war and would face opposition from European allies and within Trump's own Republican Party. The Kremlin said that any peace plan proposed by a possible future Trump administration would have to reflect the reality on the ground, but that Russian President Vladimir Putin remained open to talks. The value of any plan lies in the nuances and in taking into account the real state of affairs on the ground, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told Reuters. President Putin has repeatedly said that Russia has been and remains open to negotiations, taking into account the real state of affairs on the ground, he said, we remain open to negotiations. Ukraine's foreign ministry did not respond to requests for comment on the plan. NATO membership on hold. The core elements of the plan were outlined in a publicly available research paper, Open's new tab published by the America First Policy Institute, a Trump-friendly think tank where Kellogg and Flights hold leadership positions. Kellogg said it would be crucial to get Russia and Ukraine to the negotiating table quickly if Trump wins the election. We tell the Ukrainians, you've got to come to the table, and if you don't come to the table, support from the United States will dry up, he said. And you tell Putin, he's got to come to the table, and if you don't come to the table, then we'll give Ukrainians everything they need to kill you in the field. According to their research paper, Moscow would also be coaxed to the table with the promise of NATO membership for Ukraine being put off for an extended period. Russia invaded neighboring Ukraine in February 2022. Until some gains by Russia in recent months, the front lines barely moved since the end of that year. Despite tens of thousands of dead on both sides and relentless trench warfare, the bloodiest fighting in Europe since World War II. Flight said Ukraine need not formally cede territory to Russia under their plan. Still, he said, Ukraine was unlikely to regain effective control of all its territory in the near term. Our concern is that this has become a war of attrition that's going to kill a whole generation of young men, he said. A lasting peace in Ukraine would require additional security guarantees for Ukraine, Kellogg and Flights said. Flights added that arming Ukraine to the teeth was likely to be a key element of that. President Trump has repeatedly stated that a top priority in his second term will be to quickly negotiate an end to the Russia-Ukraine war, Trump spokesperson Chiang said. The war between Russia and Ukraine never would have happened if Donald J. Trump were president, so sad. The Biden campaign said Trump is not interested in standing up to Putin. Donald Trump heaps praise on Vladimir Putin every chance he gets, and he's made clear he won't stand against Putin or stand up for democracy, campaign spokesperson James Singer said.